coming to an emergency department is a really scary situation in general, not only for our pediatric patients, but also for the parents involved. You don't know what will walk in through the door sometimes, even when we have like an EMS ring down and we get a little bit of the story, but sometimes what comes in through the door on a stretcher is not what you were told over the phone. And so I want to make sure that we have all of those resources that we need in order to provide timely care. This is really important for the community because as a level one trauma center, we can provide the best care and immediate care. We are the only level one pediatric trauma center in the peninsula. We have the resources, the knowledge, the expertise, the subspecialty teams, the surgical services to respond to the most um, disastrous event uh, very quickly and very successfully. It is very important to have a separate space when it comes to pediatrics versus adult emergency care. Kids are not small adults. They need their own specialties, they need their own special rooms. Everything about pediatrics, it's unique and different. We understand how to approach and speak with a child. We know how to address their pain, address their fears. We want the environment to be friendly. We want them to be excited about the animals that they see on the walls, the bright colors. This space and its redesign will allow us to be so much more efficient. And efficient just doesn't mean in and out. It means giving the patients the right treatment at the right time. Our nurses and our doctors sit together, so we are like hand in hand. We're gonna all be working together. The doors are glass doors, so it helps the patients and parents see us working and know that we're doing everything that we can to treat them. All of us are thinking about the same thing for the patient. This space was built around innovation from the very get-go. Different areas within it are intended to not only implement innovation today, but also to implement whatever innovation might come down in the future. This new space and new energy will continue to foster the innovative environment that most of us already want to bring to Stanford Medicine and how we want to push the field of pediatric emergency medicine forward.